we were talking earlier about this piece. It's um, very pictorial. And, uh, Landscapey. And, yeah, well, it's a lot of overpainting and drawing. Yeah. So there's a, a lot uh, going on. But, you know, stepping back and looking at it, um, it's, it's definitely a, a broken yeah. Um, yeah. element. Yeah, open cycle. But it's actually um, kind of like this other, one of the other pieces we we're talking about, where it's actually an aggregate of several um, as opposed to being created by the individual sort of shapes. Right. And so it's kind of this layering. Yeah. And, um, and the other thing, too, is we've mentioned it in one of the other discussions, is about the expansion series. And this has that same sort of feel with this part of it coming yeah. out at you. But was, um, was this a, a, a drawing originally? Yeah, or, okay. there, was, there was a drawing. And then, yeah, I made some pen plotter drawings of it. And then I decided it needed to get bigger and painted. So I wanted to give myself a space, a canvas, to just experiment with the color uh, correspondence and the adjacency and, and a place to improvise again oh, yeah. on top of it. So yeah, the basic structure comes from a drawing first. Uh, that was deep. That was, I think it was one of the ones we picked out. That was deep in that open cycle series. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was really a very complicated area. But then uh, I didn't want to duplicate it exactly, and I didn't want to have to stick to the more um, defined color areas. I wanted to be a little freer with one going over the other. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice addition in this whole series, which I think there's 13 total yeah. um, it, that you've realized into structures. Um, but yeah, the painterliness of this one, I really love the fact that you just kind of really got into the the detail in it. And, uh, and so now we have this nice contrast between ones that have no um, over drawing at all or over painting to more reductive elements to ones that are all um, the uh, just solid colors. And now one that's it's, it's much more pictorial and, and definitely has a landscape feel. The other thing too that also feels like is, um, and maybe it's just, it, but it's inverted, is this feeling of this surround and the fact that it comes out yeah. feels like an outdoor, you know, amphitheater or stage oh, or pre yeah. precium. There's something about it. Um, and it, I'm sure it's because of this effect here of this work kind of yeah, coming thought, out thought at you. Yeah, thought about quite a bit about what you're talking about, uh, describing it differently. But it's almost like, for me, it's like a motion, like it's all going in, like it's all trying to get into that place. Ah. It's like an onrush or something. Like, we're, like here's this, this yes. area which is, in the center is going to be, uh, uh, you know, all clear and bright, and it's like what's everything's like bent ah, around. So the inverse of the way I was. Yeah, maybe so. It, it could yeah. be outrushing though. I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah. I, it happened with the expansion series. I saw him as going out, going out, going out. Right. So maybe saw, that's what's leading me. I, I saw him like, yeah. on one point. Oh no, it can also be red going in. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh great. And that was the thing is for people who are not initiated, uh, we've used that term a couple times as expansion series. It was a series where you had these elements kind of uh, very perspectival coming out and usually geometric shapes. Yeah, usually they were and inside a frame and they were somehow breaking the boundaries yeah, of the frame. Yeah, and coming flowing out. out. So it was the painting expanding beyond the boundaries of a frame. Yeah, but then, but then I could see it as the world being brought into the frame, you know, uh, being concentrated Yeah, in trying the frame. to cram so it in. <laughs> here, here's this kind of onrush toward, uh, toward some goal, like we're always, like the goal of desire, that's sort of all rushing into desire, but it could also be just kind go. of letting it go and just opening up away from it. Too. Yeah, no, very strong, and uh, and again, just shows you the vastness of of this approach and how you, you ha the diversity of the drawings, but yet, you know how you um, see these patterns, and it, when you because you you know if you repeat again yeah. how much you spend time looking at them and being very introspective, yeah, and looking at them not at just that individual drawing, but in the in the span of several of, of, of a more recent past, what's sort of evolving in your sort of thinking? Yeah, I feel like if something's coming up from the unconscious or where, wherever, it means something to you. Yeah, if it's if it because if it's persistent, like if you can't stop thinking about right. it, then it's got to unfold into some meaning. But that's why this work um, has had over the last twenty years or so, almost twenty years, sort of this organic nature to it, yeah. and also an organic evolution. Yeah, it's it's kind of um, you're not like doing this body of work, then I'm doing this body of work. There's, there's yeah, a exactly. continuity. Or I'm not saying this is about X or this is about Y. Exactly. It's kind of like I'm doing creative practice and I'm sensitive to what's coming out and I'm seeing what remains persistent and that's what develops. But they are evolving in terms of oh. everything that's going on around them. 